but we can do it. I cheer. Point. Now this poem right here was written in I don't know, seventeen something. By one of our ancestors. I don't know, seventeen something. Okay. William Knox. So what I want to do is make a uh, first attempt to do it. The camera looks a little bit down too high. It's all lower. Okay, here we go. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say this anymore. Name of the poem is Name of the Poem is why should the spirit of mortal be proud? Now, why why should the spirit of mortal be proud? This is something that has all my life. That's something I've, you know, meditated on. I've talked about. My daddy would often think about this stuff, and he would come out with this: "Oh, why should the mortal spirit of mortal be proud?" You know, and I'd go, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was lot, it was about life, you know, my life in general. So, uh, what he ascertained of it. And so he passed it on to me. And so uh, he fried my brain, so I'll fry yours. <laughs> Oh, why should the spirit of mortal be proud? Like a swift fleeting meteor or a fast flying proud. A flash of lightning and a break of the wave. And passes from life to his rest in the grave. The leaves, yes, I'm reading this, of the oak. And the willow shall fade. Be scattered around and gather be laid. And the young and the old and the low and the high. Shall molder to dust. And together shall lie. The infant. A mother attended in love. The mother. That infant affection. Who proved the husband, that mother, and the infant who blessed each are all away to their dwellings of rest. The maid on whose cheek, on whose brow, and whose eye shone beauty and pleasure, her triumph survived, and the me memory of those who loved her and prayed are alike. From the minds of the living erased. The hand of the king that the scepter is born. The brow of the priest that the mitre has sworn. The eye of the sage and the heart of the brave are hidden and lost. In the depth of the grave, the peasant whose lot was a soul in a reap, the herdman who climbed with his goats up the steep, the beggar who wandered in search of his bread, have faded away like the grass that we tread, the saint who enjoyed the communion of heaven. The sinner who dared to remain unforgiven. The wise and the foolish. The guilty and just. 
have quietly mangled their bones in the dust. So the multitude goes, like the flowers or the weed, that withers away to let others succeed. So the multitude comes, even though we be whole, for we are the same as our fathers have been. We see the same sights our fathers have seen. We drink the same strain and view the same sun. And we run the same course our fathers have run. The thoughts we are thinking, our fathers would think. From the death we are shrinking, our fathers would shrink. To the life we are clinging, they also would cling. But it speeds for us all, like a bird on the wing. They loved, but the story we cannot unfold. They scorned, but the heart of the hearty, 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 is cold. They grieved, but no well from their slumbers will come. They joyed, but the tongue of their gladness is dumb. They died, I. They died. And we, things that we are now, we walk on the turf that lies over their brow. We who walk make in a dead dwelling a transient abode. I screwed that up. But hell, I'm loaded, so why not? Meet the things. They met on their pilgrim, pilgrim, pilgrim. Hope, despondency, pleasure and pain. I will not repeat this poem again. No, that's not in there. We mingle together in sunshine and rain. And the smiles, the tears, the song and the dirge still follow each other like surge upon the just a wink of an eye the draw of a breath from the blossom of health to the paleness of death from the gilded saloon to the bear and the shroud where's the bear? shit I need a bear I shall grab one right there. Cheers. <laughs> oh, why should the spirit of mortal be proud? Daddy's favorite poem. Bye-bye. Adios. Love y'all. Mean it.